want that. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to On Lunch with Belsif. Today on Lunch with Belsif, we gotta go drop off a prescription for a couple spotties on my chest. A little rub action, eh? You gotta get some rub for it. And we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. We gotta do this quick, because I only got half an hour. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I can get her done. I haven't been doing much around the house lately for, uh, modifications or fabrications or anything like that and I'm running out of content for you to be honest with you right at the moment there might be a couple days coming up here where you might uh, not get me every other day you might get me whatever I gotta sit back regroup and get you some more content so it doesn't get all cocked over and shitty like it is right now I wonder if I should get a Panzerati for lunch I mean, leave a comment down below if you think I should get a Panzerati and gain another 20 pounds why the frig wouldn't I fire truck oh I don't know where he's going let's get out of the way Jim Oh, dick. Oh, dick. He's going that way. Frig. No action for us today. Unless we were going the other way. Eh? Somebody's not having a good day, they say. Why wouldn't they? It's a beautiful freaking day out today. It's cool, but it's nice out. What is this guy doing? I don't know, but buddy, you should have known there was cars parked over there. See? Told you it's nice out today. I'm following a Jeep. I am. A little... Little jeepage. Isn't that what they say? How you doing? I'm like a little jeepage. Yeah. J and J, everyone, say hi to Jamie. How you doing, bud? How the hell are you doing, bud? How you doing, bud? Hang on, dude. Here we go. I don't waste no time. I get where I need to get. Don't you worry. Red light. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of a, a Dairy Queen action over there. Does anybody ever have Dairy Queen? It's actually pretty affordable, and it still makes you feel like a couple hours after you eat it. So it almost does the same thing McDonald's does to us, so that's not too bad, eh? Nothing like fast food that makes you feel all cocked over. Leave your comments down below if you feel cocked over after you ate fast food. I do have two sandwiches at work, but by the time I'm done with running around, I'm not going to have time to eat them. Frick! Do you ever bring a lunch and then realize that you won't have time to eat your lunch because you got a dude running around at lunchtime? I do, all the time. Friggin' right I do. You stay in your friggin' lane there, bud. What are you doing? Looking at me like I'm in the wrong. Let me tell you what. How you doing, Walmart? I'm gonna come in there and drop off my prescription and you're gonna fill it whether you like it or not or I'm gonna fill you full of something that's warm right in your face why wouldn't I? Here's your dicks in here all I wanna do is run a prescription and there's just people everywhere I have to walk three miles just to drop off a prescription oh well it's the way she is it's the way she goes it's the way she goes Jim I'll be right back you wait here I just ended up getting the world's famous McDonald's because McDonald's is right there in Walmart and I figured I'm almost out of time, why wouldn't I? So let's get rolling here. I'm gonna eat and get back to work and I'll see you after work. Oh, all done work for the day. Now we're gonna head home in a minute. First of all, I'm gonna go for a drive to see if there's any ships for Lake Freighters and Boats. Yeah. Soon to be Life with Bills of Two. Don't forget to go check out Life with Bills of Two if you like music and flights. Yeah. I think it's gonna snow out. It's supposed to be minus six tonight so there's a good possibility we might get some snow by looks at those clouds the possibility could be pretty high actually the possibility could be pretty high for like the next 10 minutes or so we'll have to just wait and see <sighs> hey. uh, so there's something i wanted to take a video of of them building and do you think i can freaking remember what it was or were they tearing something down oh i know what it was yeah i know i don't want to do that right now how you like that What's really going on here? Fuck. Buddy's got the squatted truck look. Oh, I know what I want to take a video of. Friggin' right I do. Well, I'm home from work. And you know what? I got thinking the other day. I winterized a damn trailer, but I forgot to put the slide in. I should be doing that right now. I'm also going to plug the trailer in because I don't think the solar panel will keep the trailer charged all winter. It might, but probably won't. What should I do? Inquiring minds want to know. I know I got to get the slide in. So let's do that first. I need my brush. I need my ladder. Wow, careful. I need to bring it out here, Captain. How you doing, Mr. Trailer? Slide's probably full of leaves and shit. Oh yeah, look at it. It's gonna be all cocked over, you watch. Leave your comments down below if you think it's gonna be cocked over. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button. Cause you know, we always like that kind of stuff. I'm gonna use this cause it's the extendo. Might already be extended though. Might not be extendo enough oh. We'll just have to do it in two sections, we will. Oh my God, look at it. Yep, we can't close that right now. Can you see that? Look at what happened. You have to get up on the roof and we're gonna have to cut this, trim this tree. 
These trees are so friggin' messy. Drives me crazy. Don't leave your slide open under a fucking tree like this. Because as you can see, it gets all cocked over. Big time. I know, I know. Get your leaf floor out, Bill. No, I don't want to. I can do this just fine. Oh, look, I got dicks sitting on the roof, Captain. Well, the wife did something my friggin' snippers, so we're gonna use tin snips, I guess. Frank, got him. Should cut this whole branch off, but I have the wrong tools for that. All right, it's gonna rub on the roof all winter. Cotton, that's really good. Get! Careful. Remind me to get back up here and trim this branch right off when I get the proper tool for it. Cause we ain't run the proper tool right now. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Why wouldn't you? What the? Let's drop it on as fast as I'm getting it off. You just gotta clean her off enough to shut her. There we go. Hey, would you look at that? Why wouldn't you, Captain? Back there a ways we did a install this skylight in the bathroom there for the shower. Just so you know, I did that wrong when I did that, eh? Well, if you're installing these things, don't cut the roof out the size of the hole. Just put two slices in it and then tuck it in. I thought about that after and I was like, why didn't I just do that like this and like this and like that and the other way? Sometimes you just don't think. That's the way she goes. Look at all the in the awning. It's gonna rot the awning right out. Need to cover for this trailer. Frig, just cocking over my trailer. They don't give these roofs away either. That's 10 grand sitting there in rubber. Frig. Anyways, what was it talking about? Yeah, so don't do that how I did it. Do it the other way. Never do it the way I tell you, Captain. So now that's done, let's see if this son of a bitch has enough power to shut the slide, which I doubt it does. Who, anybody in here? What's really going on? How much battery we got? Battery. No, nope. two thirds. It's not even gonna shut the damn friggin' thing. Let me go plug this bitch in. All right, so we have shore power now. So now we should be able to bring the slide in. Let's go the other way. Oh, dick. She's cold, Jim. Obviously it's in. Quit forcing it, would you? It didn't seem like it was in to me. Oh yeah, it's in. There you go. Good girl. Friggin' right it is. Decent. Put the cat back on the pooper hole so no mice get in there, even though it doesn't. And then we gotta get some uh, stuff for inside the trailer for moisture. Hey, moisture soaker uppers. Leave your comments down below if you know what that's called, because I can't remember the name of it. So if you're a camperman, let me know what that stuff's called. Why wouldn't you? Well, there we go. There's kind of a day with me. As you know, this is what I do. We got something done today, we accomplished something. As long as you accomplish something, we're doing good. So I hope everybody's having a good day like I am. Hopefully somebody accomplished something like I did. If not, maybe a little tomorrow. There's always tomorrow there is. So don't forget to subscribe and like, hit that notification. Let me know in the comments down below what you've been up to and welcome any new subscribers. Thanks for being here. And until next time, love y'all. You know what to do for now.